Monday. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. What could not be held with weapons could be defeated with justice. Monte Melkonian. If we lose Arza, we will turn the last page of Armenian history. We will continue to develop and renovate Maj Galashen, the head of the community. Azerbaijan used the French-made satellite to monitor Arza. The view of the partition of the Armenians of Erzurum. A 1,500-year-old bakery, Tonradun, was discovered in the ancient city of Pera in western Armenia. Seven alternative roads are being built in the Sunik region. The fabulous place where my father grew up, the famous composers talk about the close connection with Armenia. On November 16, 2021, during the action of Artenish Jermuk, Western Armenia announced a general mobilization. And today we see that clashes have resumed on a front line, especially in Gerar Kunik region. November 2020, 2021 marks the 101st anniversary of the arbitration decision of President Woodrow Wilson, which officially established the border between Western Armenia and Turkey. This anniversary was widely covered with the Armenian media, although just a few years ago, long before the Second Artsakh War, the East issue did not cause such a big fuss in Yerevan. Read the full material on our official website. Monte Melkonian came to Armenia at a time when the Artsakh liberation struggle has already begun. In 1991, after his release from prison, Monte came to Yerevan work at the Academy of Sciences for seven months in order to write and publish the book Armenia and Neighbors. Here he adopted the pseudonym Avo and in September 1991 went to Artsakh. After several heavy battles in January 1992, Monte was assigned the duties of commander of the self-defense forces of Martuni region. Martuni became the most protected and combat ready region. In March April 1993, Karvachar and Omar Mountain Pass were liberated under his leadership. If we lose Artsakh, we will turn over the last page of Armenian's history. Montes were sounded like a call to alternatives to frontline soldiers and for the entire Armenian people. The Machkalashen community of the Martin region of Artsakh has 415 inhabitants. About this, an interview with the correspondent Artsakh Press said ahead of the Machkalashen community Lernik Avanesian. After the war, five families settled in the village. These families received food and hygiene supplies for several months. After 15 families can take in our village. The school building was renovated in 2016, where are 57 students studying here. The kindergarten has 24 pupils. There is a medical center in the village and the celebration hall has been renovated. The club is in an emergency condition. Part of the rural roads are covered with slab. The other part should be done. The village is gasified, supplied with electricity and round-the-clock water supply. The villagers are mainly engaging in agriculture, cattle breeding, preceding the villagers' crops, the head of the community said. During the Azerbaijan aggression, the quantitative and qualitative difference between the weapons of Armenia and Azerbaijan was incomparable. Azerbaijan used state uh, the art equipment, including strike, drones, missiles, and fighter jets. Victories during the war were presented mainly through video recordings. The Arts of Defense Army stated filming with drones towards the end of the aggression, while Azerbaijan first used drones for the first days, and they actually used them to obtain elegance and to strike. However, drones were not the only ones that were used to monitor Artsakh. Read the full material on our official website. We present a history of the photo taken from the book, 100 photo stories about the genocide of Armenian people. The picture shown an episode on the deportation of the Armenians of Karin in western Armenia near the village Sushair. The photo was taken by the Australian biologist Victor Pitchman. By the order of the German government from 1914 until the end of the world the first, Pitchman organized Turkish mountain rifleman military units while mapping military operation in the Middle East for the German general staff. Traveling on the territory of western Armenia, Armenia, he managed to photograph the scenes of the deportation of Armenians. In the photos taken by Pitchman, there are no men visible in the deportation cars, only women and children. Most of the Armenian men have already been killed. The deportation of the Armenian population of Karvin began in July in 1915. During excavation in the ruins of the ancient city of Perain, city of Samosat, 1,500-year-old bakery Ton Ratun was discovered in western Armenia. During the excavations, which began in 2001, historical sources, blocks of large stones, canals, and various architectural structures were discovered this year. During the excavation of the last period, a winemaking workshop, a mausoleum, and a aforementioned 1,500-year-old structure were revealed. The available protocols indicate the existence of the bakery Tonratun. 
Seven alternative roads are being built in Sunik region of Armenia. In particular, roads are being built in the communities of Shurnuk, Vorotan, Bartzravan, Geganush, and Chakaten. According to the Minister of Territorial Administration of Infrastructure, Ganel Sanosyan, the Tatev Agvan road is fully ready. The main part of Tatev Agvan, the same M2, is not inferior in any way. In some parts, it's also wide. The main difficulty in some section of Tatev George, the Tatev Litzen road, is being built to bypass this part and get the CC as quickly as possible. Work is also being carried out quite actively on other roads, Sanosyan said. Composer Alexer Shor, a member of Malta Philharmonic Academy who collaborates with the Armenian Symphony Orchestra, spoke about his ties with Armenia. In an interview on newsmus.com, Shor talked about where his strong connection with Armenia comes from. He said that when he came to Armenia with his parents, for the first time the visit was very touching and will be remembered for a lifetime. At the same time, the musician noted that he had never tried to write music for some ethnic style, as for a duduk. I never tried to write about the ethnic style, maybe with the exception of Verdiana. I don't have any work that sound purely European. There are some European motifs here and there, but I don't have a whole piece that will be hear and say that it's European music. I was connected with Armenia with a lot of emotions, but I often return from there with full of inspiration, the composer said. Now the musical part, Sayat Nova's song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.